Yo, 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 Soup Squad! It's your boy Nimbo Soup again. Everyone is already aware of how long the grind can be in War Thunder. You're all familiar with my take on it by now. Just play to have fun and research in the background. That's because it can be so lengthy that you'll burn yourself out and drive yourself absolutely insane if you focus on it too much. But I do realize that advice is only going to get you so far. I get that it's unrealistic, at least for me, someone with a lot of different stuff. Honestly, in the bigger picture, not really, but I'm sure I have more than your average player to tell you perhaps a newer player or at least someone with less vehicles to not worry about getting new stuff so much. So if you are going to grind, let's get you doing it properly. I'm not getting specific into vehicles and play styles and stuff. There's no real one answer for that. Just play whatever you do the best in and has the highest modifiers for you. I am going to go over some general advice I've got for you that you can apply to whatever you'd like. And I'll break it up between air and ground to make it a little bit easier to follow. If you are a veteran, I'll be straight up, this video is probably not as much for you as it is for newer players or people that need more vehicle selection. But you'll still probably get some nice refreshers if maybe you're burnt out or feeling a little bit bored of the game. Apologies for the long intro, I just needed to set things straight. Now that we're all on the same page, to all my newbies out there, now that it's just me and you, Let's get you on the right path. Just to save you some time, if you're even somewhat familiar with this game already, I'm sure you can skip this section. But anytime we're talking about grinding, it would be absolutely criminal of me to not talk about premiums. This game is free to play, yes, but the business model is not, it's called pay to progress. AKA, the more money you drop, the faster you'll progress. It's gotta make money somehow to keep the servers up and pay wages and expenses and stuff like that. I don't think I really need to get into that, it's pretty self-explanatory. I'm not mad at it. Can it be argued sometimes it goes a little bit overboard with the extent in which it does so? abso freaking lootly but that's not why I'm here. It kinda just is what it is. To reap the highest reward from the system we've got, you need to spend money on stuff. Ideally, you would have a premium account and vehicles alike, or at least talismans. I would first prioritize buying talismans and or those premium vehicles, since they're permanent bonuses, but don't shy away from buying premium account on top of it, because it'll speed things up tremendously as well. And of course, the modifiers do stack. Premium account can be fantastic, especially if you play a lot. Packs can also be good because you get those golden eagles on top of whatever vehicle you're buying and you could use those for a premium account or whatever else. If you use those on backups I might question you. But it's up to you if you want to go the pack route. I'm not going to shill that too hard. Definitely not without a creator code. Anyways, to sum it up, any premium bonuses you get are going to help you out immensely, basically doubling your grinding speed. So don't be afraid of dropping a few bucks here and there. Now, disclaimer, please do not spend a bunch of money on top tier premiums if you're brand new. At least know that you like the game before you drop that much money on it. If you do end up liking the game and you play it, don't feel bad about contributing to it. You know, power to the players and all that, we are the ones keeping the game running after all, so you can rest happy knowing you helped keep the game running. And if you're not really in a position to drop dough, or you don't want to drop dough, you just want to remain free to play. That's perfectly okay too. The beautiful part about this game is that you're allowed to do that. It might not be as easy, but you can. And honestly, I respect you for it. The better at this game you are, the more kills, score, whatever else it is per match you'll get. And of course, ultimately grind faster. This is not a guide on how to be better at this game. That being said, the way I see it, there's two ways you could play it, and of course it's more like a spectrum, there's not only two possible ways to play this game. For the sake of this video, we're going to assume it's one or the other. Number one, you could try super hard to stay alive, get as high of a score as you can, as many kills as you can, and ultimately get as many silver lions and research as possible. Or you could just play to have fun. Now I'm not sure if most people just play for fun and don't try too hard or not. 
but it seems like a lot of players find dying constantly super fun, or they just have really bad skill issues, take your pick. Point being, if you play things semi-smart, you're already playing things better than a majority of the players I come across at least. So the plan here is to give you some general advice that you should keep in mind as you play, and I'll break it up between air and ground so it's a little bit easier to follow. That immediately will make you better than a majority of the players in this game, completely independent of your skill level. Sounds too good to be true, or like some damn infomercial or something I know, but just hear me out here. Because all it takes is a little bit of thought, and you're already beating most of the players in this game. And uh, if you really need me to connect the dots here, I guess I will for you. Once again, I'm not just trying to say, get good bro. Of course that is an option, but it goes deeper than that. I'm trying to tell you to get smart, bro. The smarter you play, the faster your grind will go. So let's get into how to play smart. For all my airmen out there, if you're trying to grind and you don't climb, you are doing it wrong, assuming you're flying a fighter. Even if your plane is a turn fighter or something that doesn't have a great climb rate, climb at the start of the match. If you're a dedicated boom and zoomer, you have to side climb at the start of the match to be the highest one up there. You're pretty much useless if you don't. Banking more energy is never a bad idea, no matter what you're flying. Plus hey, maybe you get lucky and you can just boom and zoom all the enemies in the game. You don't need to be flying a good boom and zoomer to effectively be able to do that. Just play it a little careful. Or maybe you don't get lucky and the enemies are all still above you. Well at the very least, now you've got some energy to work with. Potential room to run, or if you're slower, potential room to let the enemy get fast and overshoot you. I'm going to try to not really get into the why and explaining myself so much in this video. I'm just going to ask that you trust me here. Start freaking climbing. It can't hurt. Jets, it does start to get a little more complicated than that, but by that point you should know enough what you're doing, so I won't bother for now. Early jet guide coming soon, don't worry. Now that you know to climb, change how you take your engagements. Do not take engagements you do not have an advantage in, unless necessary, to thin out the numbers a little bit. Ideally, you would be familiar with your own plane and the enemy's plane to know what you should exploit. If it's your better speed, your better turn, energy retention, whatever, you know what I'm trying to say here. Ultimately, this all boils down to changing how you go about playing the game. Play safely. Do not be greedy for kills, do not take head-ons, do not take 2v1s or more. Staying alive, waiting for a better kill shot, is going to be more rewarding in the long run than putting yourself at risk for maybe a kill shot. Not only are you going to get better time and match modifiers, but you'll save yourself from losing out on potential other kills or other rewards in that match. Again, I'm going to try not to get so much into the why here, just going to ask you to trust me. Play things smart, slow but not slow enough to not have an impact on the match and let the rewards fall right into your lap. For whatever reason, maybe skill issues, maybe people just trying to have fun, I don't really know or care. Seems like a majority of people do not play too smart, and if you do, you will profit from it. For ground battles, it's pretty much the same principles, just applied a little bit differently knowing your strengths and weaknesses, picking engagements wisely, playing slower. Do not spawn in and immediately hold W to the other side of the map to try to catch all the enemies off guard. I find myself struggling with this. In reality, you're just isolating yourself from your own team. Maybe you get a couple kills, but you'll probably eat it. And yeah, it can be a viable strategy if you're in a light tank quick boy or something getting to a really good sneaky spot, but Generally speaking, it's not a good idea to hold W for a very long time at once. Push up a bit, not on the front, find a spot you like, and let the battle develop. There's no need for you to be the first person into the match. Get a feel for where all the enemies are, where they might come from, where your teammates are, and try to play with the team. Of course, you want to be selfish and take all the kills, but don't be afraid to help each other out. There is safety in numbers, after all. Lone Wolf stuff can be cool and 
can work really well sometimes, but it's not going to be as consistent in my experience. Unless you're an insanely good player at ground, and I'm not, nor do I claim to be. Remember, we're grinding here. We need that consistency. Personally, I would take a consistent 4-5 kill games over every 1 in 5 matches being a nuke game. Okay, maybe that's a little exaggerated, but you get my point. It all boils down to being patient, and once again, don't chase anything. Let the rewards and the kills and the score and whatnot fall right into your lap. I find myself constantly holding W because I get bored easily sometimes, and it tends to really not go too well. So I think it's important to say that you should focus on staying alive before you try to focus on anything else, including satiating your own shortened attention span. Just like most other things in this world, consistency is absolutely necessary, whether it's in rewards, actually playing the game, practicing to get better at the game so when you do play it you get more rewards, it's probably not that serious but whatever it might be, grinding in this game is super long term as we've already talked about. So something makes me think that by design I don't think vehicles were meant to be researched too quickly. It's a slow and steady type beat, and the more you play, the faster it'll go. I don't think I need to do the math on that one. I'm gonna add in here too, to be careful, to not burn yourself out. Because playing the same thing, doing the same thing, over and over and over and over again, for the sake of the grind, can get quite obviously redundant. So don't be afraid to switch up what you play and or how you play it. And honestly, if you're really feeling the burnout, don't be afraid to take a little bit of a break. I hate suggesting taking a break to people because I love it when people all enjoy the game we're trying to enjoy, but it'll serve you a lot better in the long term if you just take a small break versus try to force something that is not meant to be forced. I'm just gonna throw this in here because it's not really long enough for its own section. Hey yo. Do not forget why you actually play this game. I mean, there's no way you play this game just because you feel like grinding everything, right? You play this game because something in this game you enjoy. And, like I was talking about earlier, if you're just super focused on grinding one thing that's super far away, it's very easy to burn yourself out. So, try to avoid that. And that's all I've got for you today on some advice on how to speed up your grind in general. Remember, we'll do a quick little recap. The rich get richer, aka premium speeds up your grind tremendously. If you're playing smart, you're already playing better than, I don't know, 75% War Thunder players, so your grind will go faster. And consistency is key, but not consistent to the point of burnout. If you learned something, you enjoyed, and or you're just a super handsome sexy person I want to make out with, hit that like button, don't forget to comment and subscribe, turn those post notifications on so you don't miss my future uploads, and you all know the deal. This is Nimbo Soup, Nimbo signing out. Peace out fellas.